In 2010, the Penguin Newborn Suction was born, and with it, our commitment to save lives at birth. Thanks to our partners, there are now 500,000 penguins out in the world in the hands of trained, life-saving birth attendants helping babies breathe. A reliable suction device is needed if secretion is blocking the nose and mouth and the baby is not breathing. That's when I have to use this one to first clear the air away. So as the baby can breathe and cry. Back in 2008, our partners had noticed an issue with newborn suction bulbs in low resource settings. Det som fantes på på markedet, det var disse gummi eh uh, sugene, men de är er laget för engångsbruk och vi hade behov för ett uh, något som kunde brukas om igen, alltså med en enkel måte att rengöra det. Och det måste vara hållbart och kunde tåla den rengöringen som uh, uh, var nödvändig. We have had these opaque suction bulbs that nobody has any idea of what is actually in it. You use it with faith that hopefully something is not wrong with it. But the penguin device is transparent. The ability to be able to clean it and actually see how well the results of your cleaning are. I think it's amazing. But the penguin is just one piece in a larger picture. The real impact lies in the work of our partners, training and empowering healthcare providers through programs like Helping Babies Breathe. Beyond the number of penguins, today we celebrate the birth attendants they have reached, who work passionately and continuously develop their skills to save lives. Like Nurse Meskerem, she attended the birth of baby Alazar in Bishafitu, Ethiopia. Alazar could not breathe when he was born, but Nurse Meskarem had been trained in the Helping Babies Breathe program and was able to resuscitate him. His family is very happy and grateful that Nurse Meskarem was there to help.